Greetings, and welcome to the Open-Minded Skeptic Podcast. My name is Sharon Ann Rowland, and I'm your host. It's the 17th of June, 2019, and it's time for our monthly review podcast. This time we'll be reviewing four psychic testing apps. Remote Viewing Tournament by Ironzog LLC, Remote Viewing Test by Gunderson, ESP Trainer by Russell Targ, and Zena, the original ESP test by Ionis Gotis. So, let's begin. Remote Viewing Tournament by Iron Zog. Discover and develop your natural psychic remote viewing abilities and compete to earn prizes. Remote viewing is a technique that allows anyone to learn to perceive information from a distant place or time. I gave this five stars because it's addictive. It's been over two weeks since I downloaded this app onto my iPad and it's officially my next best app. It only takes a few minutes a day as you only get to participate in one tournament a day, but it's fun and gives you a few moments of mental clarity and focus. So what's great about this app? It only takes up to five minutes a day, similar to keeping a journal. But in this case, I am maintaining my psychic remote viewing abilities through a daily practice. What's not so great about this app? The pictures it puts forward are sometimes very similar to each other, so your hit rate isn't good in the beginning. Once, however, you are in the swing of a daily routine, your hit rate improves significantly. As they say, practice makes perfect. Remote Viewing Test by Gunderson. Test your remote viewing skills with this app. Whether you are an experienced remote viewer or just starting out, hone and rate your RV skills with this practice test. I gave this a three stars. It's fun until you start failing, really. <laughs> As I come from an IT background, I initially just tried to push buttons on the screen to teach myself how to use the app. After all, the display looks simple enough. After a couple of minutes, however, I realized that either it or I was not intuitive enough. I think it was the app, personally, not me. I then returned to the app store and read the detailed instructions on how to use the app. Why did I return to the app store? Well, because I couldn't locate any help inside the app itself. So what's great about this app? I did give it three stars because it can be used in three different test modes. One, as a general psychic or ESP test. Two, for an experienced remote viewer. And three, to learn how to remote view. What's not so great about this app? No help internal to the app. And the screen is not intuitive enough to work out how to use it on its own. ESP Trainer by Russell Targ. The ESP Trainer was developed under a NASA program by Russell Targ at Stanford Research Institute. I gave this three stars because I believe it has potential. If I was stuck in a waiting room of a medical professional, this is the app I would play. It requires concentration and setting of your intent. So what's great about the app? It's very easy to use without having to read any instructions that come with the app. The main screen is aesthetically appealing and logically laid out. In fact, you could play for hours. What's not so great about this app? It got a little tedious whenever I was interrupted, as I felt a slight addiction to continue the trials. You really do need to sit alone, away from distractions and focus. And finally, our last app, 
Zena, the original ESP test by Jonas Gortus. This is the extrasensory perception test, exactly as it was originally invented and conducted by the perceptual psychologist Carl Zena in the early 1930s. Well, I'm sorry, but this got a one star and a pointless rating. I even added an exclamation point at the end. I mean, seriously, this is an app. <laughs> Just get five sheets of paper and draw a circle across three vertical wavy lines, a square and a five pointed star. You now have the app. So what's great about the app? It's free. <laughs> what's not so great about this app? The lack of potential is staggering. Now I was going to leave this review here, but I recently found a second app from the same developer and it's called Zena ESP Psychic Test, which appears to have both post-cognition and pre-cognition tests and additional training. I'll play with this for a few days and add it into our next app reviews coming soon. Well, that's all for our podcast. Thanks for listening. And remember, if you want to support what we do, then share, subscribe, and leave a positive review over on iTunes for the open-minded skeptic. My team and I look forward to entertaining you once again in our next podcast. To check when our next podcast is, simply head over to www.tomspod.com. That's www.tomspod.com.